And five years after Benghazi, two security contractors are speaking out to Fox News. They allege they were pressured to keep quiet by a senior official in the Clinton State Department. They knew too much, they said. Catherine Harridge has this exclusive report for us. Was the State Department contract officer trying to silence you? Oh, absolutely. The U.S. ambassador is dead and nobody is held accountable for it. And three guys who try to defend him all died. The people who made the poor choices that actually, I would say, were more responsible for the Benghazi attacks than anyone else, they're still in the same positions, making security choices for our embassies overseas now. Jerry Torres, a former Green Beret, is the president and CEO of Torres Advanced Enterprise Solutions, which supplies security for U.S. embassies and consulates around the world. And along with Brad Owens, a former Army intelligence officer, they have more than 45 years of service. Speaking exclusively to Fox, they have first-hand knowledge of the security nightmare on the ground in Benghazi, Libya, before the 2012 terrorist attack that killed Ambassador Chris Stevens, Foreign Service Officer Sean Smith, and former Navy SEALs Ty Woods and Glenn Doherty. Five years after the attack, could it happen again? Oh, absolutely. Nothing's changed. In the spring of 2012, Torres bid on the security contract for the State Department compound in Benghazi. But the nearly $700,000 deal, handled by State Department contracting officer Jan Vicentainer, went to a mysterious foreign company, Blue Mountain Group. The guards were local hires through another company and not armed. Blue Mountain UK is a teeny tiny little security company registered in Wales that had never had a diplomatic security contract, had never done any high threat contracts anywhere else in the world that we've been able to find. This classified cable, first reported by Fox News, shows that by mid-August 2012, Ambassador Stevens and his team knew they were in trouble, warning the State Department that radical Islamic groups were everywhere. It was a disaster. They were sending these cables back to the contracting guys and the decision makers back here, and they weren't responding. It's gross incompetence or, or negligence, one of the two. <laughs> Two weeks before the attack, with the situation critical, suddenly the State Department wants their help. They came back to us and said, can you guys come in and take over security? So we were ready. I mean, you know, unfortunately, 12 days later, the ambassador was killed. After the attack, emails show Blue Mountain was advised not to talk. Torres and Owens claim they got the same order, and the State Department contracting officer Vicentainer went further, summoning Torres in early 2013 from another job overseas to come to the State Department building in Roslyn, Virginia. She stopped me in the lobby short of the uh, guard post and, um, and uh, had a conversation with me with respect to uh, Benghazi. What did the State Department contract officer say? Uh, she said that uh, I and people from Torres should not speak to the media, should not speak to uh, any officials with respect to uh, the Benghazi program. When you chose to be silent, did you feel any guilt about it? Oh, absolutely. We had about 8,000 employees at the time. You know, we just didn't need that level of damage because these guys, their livelihood relies on the company. The State Department declined our request to make Vicentainer available and the men allege repercussions have continued against their company. Since that conversation, we bid on 20 security force contracts for U.S. embassies and lost 18. Do you feel more comfortable coming forward now because there's been a change in administration? That was probably the key reason that I stepped forward. Given that the politics has been taken out of the Benghazi situation, now that there's no longer a candidate or anything related to it, we have an opportunity here to fix the problems that made it happen. The contractors describe their State Department experience as the swamp squared. Separately, Fox News also sent a series of questions to Blue Mountain, the security team on the ground in Benghazi during the 2012 terrorist attack, and there was no immediate response, Tucker. I wonder why there was no response. <laughs> you know, when you look at the security mistakes that were made just leading up to the attack, Blue Mountain has never really been forthcoming about how they got that contract in the first place. Yeah. And now we have these contractors stepping forward saying they were asked to come in at the 11th hour and then they were threatened to stay silent after the fact. And that's really astonishing. It's kind of shocking. There are parts of the story I don't really understand. Thank mm -hmm. you, Catherine. You've been great stuff on this.